Hello everyone, welcome back. In this episode here, I'm gonna talk about fanny packs. Yes, fanny packs. Uh, are they back in style? Well, for me, it never was out of style. I always enjoyed wearing fanny packs, especially because of uh, where I live. It's often warm, humid, and hot. And the apparel that I wear is often swimming shorts and with no underwear um, because I often go to the swimming pool or I'll go into the lake or well I don't go into the lake but I do kayak in the lake so I might get wet and also it's just a lot cooler if you don't wear any underwear <laughs> um, so I wear the swimming trunks that has knitting for it but anyways I wear often very light clothes so I can't uh, carry a, a concealed firearm with me so that's why I started using the the fanny pack here I got two in here I usually buy these these are Walmart outdoor I usually like the black ones they tend to disappear around my waist because they're black but you can get other color ones I got this just in case um, something happens to my black ones and uh, what is this? this is a two liter waste pack essential I like the huge front pockets. I like the reflectors. So just in case you actually do put it on your fanny pack, on your fanny, on your butt, uh, someone can see you from behind. So why am I talking about this right now? Why am I talking about this in particular right now? Well, because I'm wearing uh, my current fanny pack. And uh, I'm going to show you here. And basically, uh, if you've seen some of my videos, you'll know that I've uh, added a few things here and there. Let's move this up here. Uh, so this is my current setup here, right here. And so, um, so I'll tell you what happened. Okay, so, and I have a knife. The way it's set up is the knife is usually on the inside and it's kind of canted so it fits to my waist uh, but you'll see here wear and tear that's where I originally had my knife I originally had my knife all the way over here and you can see that it's wore this piece out right here so my knife uh, so this is getting worn out. Nothing wrong with it, but it just uh, doesn't look good. Um, I have it set up like this. And if you know what this is, this is my um, med pack. I got this from AR500. Anyways, uh, the other issue I had with this, and I've, I've been wearing it almost every day for two years, but... Uh, this here is my little Harbor Freight pepper spray that I've never had to use so far, thank goodness. But uh, I might have to buy another one to, to maybe replace it. Just buy four bucks just for animals and annoying kids. Uh, so here's the problem. I used to have this. I used to had this on it on the chain ring uh, right here I had the chain ring on here this used to be like this and it broke off you can see that you can see that it broke off and it used to be this used to hang from here eventually it just moved around so much it just broke this off it just snapped so uh, that's why I'm gonna go ahead and replace this one with this one but let me just show you what I carry in here because fanny packs apparently are very popular now so uh, my keys on a I don't know what you call this thing canta what is this cantilever or well it's just a th something to hold all my keys and everything and to, to clip it right in here I actually never take it off I just take off my keys and my car keys 
house, mailbox, other keys. So this always stays on here. But this is going to now come off. Okay. So this is my fanny pack. And uh, of course, this is my IFAC, my very small, small IFAC. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And uh, this is just a patch I put on. Uh, you can get away with some of the stuff you you can do on this. And again, <laughs> fanny packs are becoming a fashion now, a fashion, very fashionable. Um, but I just find it very, very useful. So we'll just put this uh, up here for now. So what do I do with my old fanny packs? I, uh, I put them on my bikes and I use them as a little... Uh, handlebar bag but uh, so in here what I usually keep is some credit card my credit cards my ID carry conceal license some cash a lot of small amount you know uh, other IDs uh, some business cards um, you know rewards program cards so uh, that's all I carry in here and this is very useful because when I have it on my hip I often just uh, more or less uh, just open this up and then get the cash or card out and then close it back up. So, so we'll be taking this out here. Okay, so that's all going to be transferred to the new one. But the main thing here, oh, it does have a zipper in the back, which I never use, and it does come with this little uh, string. What I do is I just fold it into the zipper so it doesn't get in the way. So I just take it and just fold it in here. I never use this, but there is a place for it, but I never use it. Now the main compartment right here, uh, and again, I only have one. If you look at it, I only have one sticking out, one sticking in. Oh, sorry. So one sticking out, one sticking in. I usually just stick it in. And what I liked about it was that this carries my pistol here. This carries my pistol. Loose, of course. And it has a little web right here. That's why I stick it, stick this right in here. It doesn't get tangled up. And uh, this is how I carry it. Um, there's none in the chamber. But I carry it like this because what I found over my previous my previous uh, years of wearing this is that it, it'll, uh, it looks like it's pretty good condition actually considering considering all that it's been through no holes yeah it doesn't leave holes sometimes the barrel of the gun and the sharp pieces of the gun actually you could almost you can almost see this see it's wearing away at the bottom here so this uh, vinyl this vinyl lining it's cheap. That's why I have to replace it every two years. But if you wear it every day, uh, it's it's worth it. So this is kind of falling apart from the heat. It's a little vinyl inner lining. Um, so another thing, I, there is an inner pocket right here. And again, I put the uh, string in the zipper so it doesn't stick out. But uh, some things I carry in here is... Um, This is a, a little piece that I need for my Glock conversion. But I also carry um, some of these, just my digital information and stuff that I like to have. I carry several of these, actually. I carry small uh, USB, a USB to uh, micro, US, um, micro SD card, just in case I need to plug into something very useful I think I have uh, several of these uh, yeah I have uh, there there are eight eight megabytes of uh, SD card I think or eight eight gig eight gigs yeah maybe eight gigs uh, that's amazing <laughs> the uh, SD cards with kill they can hold and I have one empty one oh, just one empty one you can get these wet and uh, you know you can get the SD cards wet and they'll still work all right, so that's what I got in here. 
So that's what I have. Oh, sorry. So I'll be replacing all this. And then let's, uh, oh, you see the gun is still a little dirty, but I put it in here because uh, the, uh, okay, we'll check it. Just quickly check it. Okay. Uh, Glock 19, double stack, just one magazine, self-defense ammo. I think there is a Sig V crown. That's what I put in here. And uh, you'll, you'll see like the, the end of the barrel, the front sight, the rear sight. Uh, I put it down this way. I put it down. Oh, I put it down in this way because it fits just a lot better overall. Because if I put it in this way, it won't fit in the bag. So I'm trying to make use of this very tiny, tiny bag. It really is very small. So uh, that's what I have, and I, and I put use a towel. It's always nice to have a towel, but I wrap it, I wrap it, I wrap it in this way. I mean, it's loose. There's no, none in the chamber because I carry in the fanny pack. Um, not the quickest, but at least you have something. And then when I need to take it out, I usually have this on my left side. That's why it's set up this way. Uh, you should learn how to shoot with your left or right hand. So that's what's in my bag. So this is my new bag. So some of the things I'm going to change is I'm probably not going to put this ring or change. I don't know if I could change this out, but I'm probably not going to have this on right here through this loop. There's like, you got two of them. You got two on each side. There's two over here as well. There's two over here, but I, I use this one because I have it on my left side and these hang out this way so I could just quickly grab with my left hand. Uh, so I'll figure out what to do with this. The knife, I'm going to probably have it on here instead of on here. Keep it that way. I think that's a lot easier. And this bag should be really new. Yeah, still got the tag in it and everything. And again, these are cheap. You can find these at Walmart, and they're very small. And uh, you'll be surprised how much you can carry in this stuff. So this is probably going to be my new bag here, which is the same bag. But again, I can get it in different colors. So anyways, I just want to do, <laughs> do an uh, unloading. And of course, I attach my, my med kit. I did have a video on this. I'll probably put a link in the notes. So if you want to know what's in here, it has a lot of the basic stuff, not a lot. Um, you don't want to overkill it because then this becomes bigger than that, and uh, you don't want that. Anyways, this is going to conclude my episode on what is in my ED everyday carry fanny pack. Uh, I find this to be very, very useful. Uh, Anyways, if you like this video, please like, share, comment. Seems like uh, fanny packs are the rage in 2020. Don't know why. Uh, nothing graceful about it, but uh, very useful. Until next time, bye-bye.